Hello, I'm Angela Wamboy, and here's the news in two minutes. The court has allowed police to detain Mugawa Wairimo for 14 days to finalize investigations on allegations of sedating and raping women. The man whose real name is James Mugondichu was presented before Senior Principal Magistrate Cherry Oluoch this morning following his arrest in Limuru yesterday. In their application, police indicated that they have not completed their investigations and needed 30 days because the man was arrested yesterday. Police were granted 14 days after Mugo's lawyer protested tested that the 30 days sought by the prosecution was too much. Four witnesses have already recorded statements with the police at the CID headquarters, with more expected to come up after his arrest. The suspect was arrested in Limuru yesterday after evading police since Sunday when the alleged sex scandal in his clinic was exposed by Citizen Television. All top security bosses are in Lamu to launch the Bonnie Forest security operation to flush out Al-Shabaab militants. They include Interior Cabinet Secretary Joseph Nkaiseri, Military Chief Samson Modede, and the Inspector General of Police Joseph Boynette. They are formally launching the security operation after Boynette ordered residents out of the forest last week, declaring it a dangerous and troubled area. Residents have been streaming out of the forest since Saturday, with many of them relocating to nearby regions and the main town of Lamu. In a rare example of former rulers commemorating a colonial uprising, a British-funded memorial to Mau Mau victims is set to open tomorrow. The memorial is a symbol of reconciliation between the British government and the Mau Mau and all those who suffered, reads the stone plaque on the memorial to be unveiled tomorrow in Nairobi. Mau Mau fighters challenged white settlers and tens of thousands died amid horrific abuses in the 1952 to 1960 struggle. The memorial in Central Park, a site that has come to be known as the Freedom Corner, is still under wraps hidden behind the Mabati sheets until its unveiling. It features a statue of a fighter complete with trademark dreadlocks and homemade rifle being handed food by a woman supporter. Although it is a joint project between Britain, the Mau Mau Veterans Association and the Kenya Human Rights Commission, the £90,000 bill was paid by London. The commemorative statue follows a June 2013 decision by Britain to compensate more than 5,200 elderly Kenyans tortured and abused during the insurgency. For more on these and other stories, make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel on Capital FM Kenya. I'm Angela Wamboy.